welcome back to another video today we are testing the highly anticipated rt overdrive feature from cyberpunk 2077 now this is a technology preview so uh, this is going to be pretty rough on gpus uh, it's not going to be the norm just yet this is just to show what the technology is capable of i'll be testing it on an rtx 4070 ti with a 12700k cpu paired with the ddr4 3600 megahertz cl18 memory now i've just got the fps overlay there in the top left hand corner this is how i usually play the game let me just go into my settings here i'll hide my overlay i've got uh, i just select the rt ultra preset right i've got frame generation enabled uh, dls super resolution i just force that to quality and then i just disable film grain and motion blur and all that kind of nonsense right so this is it it's uh, Ray trace lighting is set to ultra. Everything is uh, on the ultra preset except for the settings, right? And then just the uh, DLSS super resolution is forced to quality and frame generation is on, obviously. All right, so if we then uh, start our numbers here, you can see that uh, we're getting around 120 frames per second, even in this uh, very uh, pretty area well i wouldn't say pretty this is uh, like the red light district but it's uh, the lighting is pretty good in this area right we're getting above 100 frames per second most of the time it's uh depending on which direction you look it's uh going between 100 frames per second to 120 frames per second right and uh, this is a pretty intensive area there's quite a lot of uh, npcs here the lighting is uh is quite good as i said and uh, this is a very good uh, area to test now we are not yet to test uh, image quality with the new rt overdrive feature digital foundry did a very good video on that i'll link it in the description below so what we'll be testing is just the performance with rt overdrive i'm just going to leave everything exactly as it is and i'm just going to enable rt overdrive at the bottom here right there's the, there's also a setting uh or a preset that you can select uh you can select the rt overdrive preset why does it do that um but uh, we'll just uh, use my my settings here let's just go back there so let's use dlss uh quality frame generation uh these settings off so we are pretty much where we were right so uh, and uh, now we'll just enable path tracing right it even says there that it's a technology preview let me just hide this and if you read it says that you require at least a geforce rtx 4070 ti or rtx 3090 right let's just apply this and uh, let's just go back into the game here and open our overlay and if we look into the normal uh, area getting between 70 and 80 frames per second and uh, the lighting actually does look pretty good and uh, the moment you go into this area over here you'll see that the lighting is definitely a lot more accurate but uh, now we are dropping below 60 frames per second right uh, not by a lot but you can definitely feel it in the input latency i'm just going to open my performance overlay monitor here unfortunately it's not being captured on a screen or on the screen capture but my PC latency is sitting at uh, 72 milliseconds, 75 milliseconds, right? And uh, that is definitely something that you can feel. Now, this is on DLSS quality, and uh, I think we should probably be playing on balanced or even performance at 1440p to get a very smooth experience here. All right, so we're just going to leave everything as is. Uh, let's go back into... Uh, settings here let's just see what happens once we enable dlss uh, balanced uh, it just takes a little while you can see the frame time graph there it's it's pretty thick and uh, once that uh, smooths out uh, it's uh, ready to go right that's just the uh, frame generation doing its thing and now you can see we are getting around 70 frames per second here the mouse input feels a whole lot better uh, still sitting around uh, 75 milliseconds but uh, it does go down and there it's uh, 65 milliseconds. So it does improve uh, every now and again, um, but the average latency is sitting around 70. I'll try and figure out a way to capture that. Um, I haven't gotten around to that just yet. Uh, so maybe in the next video, we'll have average PC latency captured as well. But just looking down here, we are getting latency of uh, 57 milliseconds right and that's because the frame rate is quite a bit higher so the average input latency goes down all right uh, 
that was actually not too bad we managed to stay above 60 frames per second but let's what happens at performance mode all right we're now at performance mode and let's just see uh, we started off with 100 frames per second and uh, we are down into the mid 80s yeah now i would not advise you to play on uh, dlss performance uh, at 1440p and uh, things just uh, look a little bit weirder the aliasing the uh, power lines tree branches etc uh, you'll start seeing more and more artifacts right it's not uh, it's not the best visual experience and the whole point of this r2 overdrive feature is uh, to improve the visuals right so at 1440p i think balanced is uh, your safer bet i personally won't uh, play this game fully uh, from start to finish with RT overdrive mode enabled but if you do then uh, and you've got an RTX 4070 Ti the balance preset at 1440p is definitely uh, playable all right uh, now let's uh, see what happens at 4k but before we do that just remember that the RTX 4070 Ti performs pretty much the same at 1440p as a 4090 does at 4k right so uh, it's quite a big increase in resolution for the same performance between the two graphics cards so we should more or less get the same frame rate here at 1440p than a 4090 at 4k using the exact same settings all right but that said let's see how the 4070 ti does at uh, 4k all right we're now at 4k and uh, Let's start off with the DLSS quality. Uh, everything else is exactly the same. RT overdrive or path tracing is enabled. Uh, DLSS frame generation and uh, quality DLSS resolution. All right. Uh, actually, with this update, they also added uh, Intel uh, XESS, right? Which is quite nice. Um, I don't think this is going to go so well. Um, we're sitting with 12 frames per second at the moment. Uh, let's just uh, give it some time to <laughs> for the frame generation to catch up. And uh, there we go. All right, so at 4K with the quality preset, getting around uh, 30 frames per second. I can tell you that the input latency is horrendous. We're sitting at uh, 200 millisecond uh, average PC latency. Now that's according to NVIDIA's uh, performance overlay in the top right hand corner. Um, once again, I'll find a way to actually show it, but uh, all right, this is definitely unplayable. I mean, I'm moving my mouse uh, and uh, literally one fifth of a second later, it registers on screen. All right, so uh, uh, that's, <laughs> okay all right so that's definitely uh not correct and uh, this is definitely not what you want uh you can have a look at the frame time graph there it's completely broken at uh, 4k on this gpu uh let's just get out of here uh let's go down to balance the dlss super resolution uh let's see if this uh, fixes it a bit we're not uh, running out of VRAM just yet. Our VRAM usage is sitting at uh, around 10 gig and this is a 12 gigabyte uh, VRAM GPU. And uh, now actually we are getting 40 frames per second. It's, it's not the best, but the render latency has actually gone down to uh, 75 milliseconds. Uh, there it went up to 100 milliseconds again, but it's uh, much better than 200 milliseconds and uh, definitely much more playable um, I personally wouldn't play like this uh, 30 frames per second is uh, definitely not what I'd, I'd want uh, for myself here um, and I'm not sure if uh, if it's worth it right let's see what happens at uh, DLSS performance now this is actually the settings that we used for the demo um, 4k with the DLSS performance uh, you can go down to performance uh, at 4k you still render at uh, 1080p and then it upscales to 4k or thereabouts and uh, it still looks pretty good right but we didn't gain anything actually we're still sitting at uh, 30 frames per second the input latency seems to have gone down quite a bit um, the maximum is, is around 70 milliseconds now but the frame rate is definitely still 
very low. So even at performance, uh, DLSS super resolution, we're not getting a very good experience here. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, you can see that the GPU power is sitting at around 200 watt, uh, whereas previously it went up to around 250 watt, and the total board power of this specific GPU is to 175 watt. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. You can see our CPU is only being utilized 20%, so definitely not a CPU bottleneck. All right, let's see if we can uh, get it working better at uh, ultra performance. All right, we're now at ultra performance and uh, all of a sudden we doubled our frame rate. We're getting around 80 frames per second here. Uh, pretty strange that we went from 30 to 75 just by going from performance to ultra performance. Something's definitely not right. So we'll try the, the normal performance setting just now again. But here you can see that uh, we're getting more or less the same performance is what we had with the uh, DLSS set to quality at 1440p and uh, that makes sense because uh, it's pretty much the same internal resolution um, but uh, it's definitely a lot of weird looking the DLSS there's a lot of shimmering especially when we move just have a look at the uh, balloons here I, they look weird I'm not sure if they're supposed to look like that uh, probably not but um, there's, there's a lot of shimmering, so ultra performance, uh, maybe not the way to go. All right, so at uh, ultra performance, we got around uh, 70 frames per second here, which is definitely not bad, but I'd personally not play on ultra performance. All right, I'm just going to try the performance uh, mode once again. I just want to see if there was a bug, maybe the settings didn't apply properly, or maybe something still needed to load in. I, I don't think so. We are sitting at uh, 33 frames per second again. And okay, there we go. So there it went up to around 50 frames per second. So definitely a bit of a bug with our previous run. Uh, let's just reset our numbers here. And uh, sitting at 50 frames per second with the occasional stutter. Our input latency is uh, down to 50 milliseconds again, although it does not really feel it because the frame rate is so low um, actually our frame rate dropped down into the 30s once again pretty much in the middle of this alley here. all right this is one of the more intensive uh, areas in this game due to the npcs and the lighting and everything else that uh, that goes with it but uh, i just uh, thought i'd give you a little bit of a performance uh, overview of what you can expect uh, if you do have a, a 40 series GPU uh, or a 3090 because uh, those are apparently the minimum requirements. So I'm going to play the game a bit uh, on these settings and then I'll probably just revert back to my RT Ultra preset as I do find the game a little bit more playable. Alright that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and as always we hope to see you in the next one.